Well, hello guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. And I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today, okay? Uh, I just have to say thank you all so much for all your lovely uh, comments and everything. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh bless you, oh bless you. My head was busting, I was like, uh, I, I couldn't get through the door, it was that big. <laughs> oh bless, well at least you can put uh, this voice uh, to my face. And isn't it funny, you know, uh, when you're talking to somebody you've not seen or, or met, uh, you know, how you expect them to look and how different it can be, okay? Uh, which is what I gather uh, happened to quite a few of you guys as well, okay? But uh, no, I've loved doing it, I have loved doing it. Uh, so yeah, a lot of hard work though. I swear to God, I've been stressed out for like a, for a couple of months. Uh, but you know, it, it's all worth it, isn't it? It's all bloody uh, worth it. Um, I am very, very uh, pleased. Uh, and I can only thank you guys, okay? Uh, it's you guys who have brought me here. Uh, it's you that's kept going. It's you that's appreciated uh, my efforts, okay? Uh, it's you. It's you, okay? Uh, so... Uh, any success that I ever may have uh, is all down to you, okay, absolutely uh, down to you. And for some of you who think uh, I'm really young, I'm not really young, I'm 47, oh, I'm closer to 50, I, I, uh, oh, bloody hell, yeah. Uh, I, I, well, I don't know, they say you get your face you deserve at that age, well, I fucking slept one in, that was for sure. <laughs> Swear card. I forgot on today, okay. Anyway, let's get into it, let's get into it, okay. Um, so, is it true, is it true uh, that, you know, Harry uh, is going to snub the Queen, okay. And straight away, I'm already uh, drawn uh, to, to these, okay. I always shuffle them, you know, and give them a right good shuffle, but some it's so automatic, isn't it, eh? When you pick them up, you just shuffle and turn, shuffle and turn, shuffle and turn. Anyway, guys, right, okay, so let's have a look then. Uh, is Harry uh, going uh, to snub his grandmother's birthday, which is this month, by the way, okay? That, this is a real one. Uh, and then in June, okay, um, it's her official uh, one, okay? Uh, and a civil servant, so anybody who comes under the Queen uh, and her remit as a boss, uh, then... Uh, that's why she she was to give you uh, a, a gold coin come Monday uh, Thursday, okay? Monday Thursday, and then a bank holiday after. Lovely. We all still love it, okay? Uh, the fact is, you would get credited with three point four two, uh, or three hours forty two minutes, I suppose. Um, I could never work out that flexi sheet, but anyway, uh, yeah. So she was to give us uh, all old coins never me i took you know i'm talking i don't know how many years back but anyway that's what she used to do uh, and now she gives uh you get a half a day off or 3.42 <laughs> uh off okay so yeah no no more gold uh coins uh anymore flying about so uh yeah so this is a real birthday okay uh is it going to snub her Oh dear, oh bloody bloody hell, do you know what Harry, you fucking disgust me, you disgust me. Not only will uh, Harry snub his grandmother, okay, uh, it's like he's turned his back because it, it doesn't, you know, sh I think uh, a few weeks ago somebody in the papers said along the lines that, you know, she served a fucking purpose. Well, she has. She has, you know, this is a fucking asshole. Asshole! What a fucking asshole. Oh, I'll only do the fucking, not the assholes. Anyway, but yeah, he is. Oh, how incredibly rude, you know. How, how rude. How are you going to look so bad? You are going to look so, so bad. I think uh, a lot, if he does that, right, I'm telling you now, people will turn away from him, okay, uh, a lot quicker uh, than they're doing so now, okay. I mean, he's had the, the king and queen uh, re rebuff him, uh, you know, it's not on, it's not on, in fact, you know, it's not the king and queen who's uh, invited uh, Harry 
uh, and his brood over to the Netherlands. No, he invited himself. Do they not? They don't, do they? They don't, I was going to say, do they not see how this appears uh, to everybody, okay? I mean, you, you've got more than just Sky News and, uh, you know, uh, uh, the media uh, coming out, okay? I mean, Sky News Australia, they're, they're absolutely brilliant, aren't they? You know, they just say it as it is and that's it, it's not offensive. Not unless, uh, you know, you've got a fucking personality disorder like those two. It's like he don't care anymore. He don't care. You know what? He's having to do with this. Ah, wait. What's uh, you know, the truth of the situation uh, for Harry regarding his grandmother? Well, he can't say he forgot because it's everywhere. He can't say he's forgot, okay? So, you know, I, I, it is... Harry's sitting on information, okay? Harry's sitting on information. That's what he thinks anyway, you know, that he's sat on uh, information. So it's these secrets between him and the Queen, uh, possibly what's going into his memoirs, uh, then, you know, what, what they're playing at here, okay? So I'm getting... I think you know it's uh, because the Queen uh, does not have the same information that Harry has. Okay, Harry's is twisted. Okay, uh, but she only knows uh, facts. So some of these things that Harry is saying, okay, uh, are not true. Uh, she has no knowledge of you know. Uh, so certain things that are not true. Okay, and I think that's uh, you know that's hard to face somebody. It's hard to deal with as well. You know it is. Once the trust gone, that it's gone. You know, especially like it's been trampled on after attack after attack after attack. Okay, um, so and he can't afford, right? Okay, so because I feel this way, right? I feel like his book is very damaging. Uh, I feel Megan's actions are going to be very damaging too, okay? I really do. They bring out the worst in each other. Uh, it's just going to be a double barrel, one from one, one from the other. Uh, and I think because of that, that actually he cannot uh, afford to mend bridges. He can't. He doesn't care about uh, the royal family anymore. You know, he's hardened to it, isn't he? He's just hardened. He's uh, bitter and he's, you know, uh, uh, there's all these feelings inside him that make him cold, calculated, you know, switched off. Just switched off. Not bothered. So, you know, what has uh, led to Harry snubbing his grandmother on her birthday? Because he didn't do it out with the funeral, did he? Did he wish Catherine a birthday? I think some of it have been said. Right, OK. Uh, what has led to, to this? Uh, yeah, what has led to Harry uh, snubbing the Queen? Not just once, but a couple of times now. Because he's a fucking coward. Because he is an absolute coward, eh? Look at that fucking coward. He lacks the ability as well because, uh, you know, making up with somebody requires, like, truth on both parts. And when I say truth, I'm talking about truth of feeling, truth of intention, truth of what's, you know, really going on in that brain of yours, OK? Uh, and Harry cannot tell the truth he cannot tell the truth he can't stop uh lying you know he, he just ain't got it and he's a coward he's frightened he is he's frightened because he is a fucking smiling assassin okay he is nobody nobody but they're you know that's another reading but you know nobody nobody will want to know harry uh it, it's just you know i tell you what uh, when you go to prison, it doesn't matter what it's for, but if you have attacked an elderly person and the other stuff as well, like maybe uh, as 
sex but you know uh, they're not fucking robbing a grandma uh, and giving her a black eye and two bro you know a broken jaw uh, whereas in Harry's case, it's more like fucking breaking her heart, okay, uh, and making her heart go through fucking hopes and jumps and everything, you know, uh, worrying and worrying and then worrying about his welfare, but him attacking her. It's just not on. It's not on. Uh, the wild and everybody else as well. I think it's uh, human fucking nature uh, that you uh, look, do not uh, attack your grannies. And the wild loves the queen, okay? Do you know what, right? Harry is got like literally throwing himself uh, under the, the bus, okay? He's becoming vilified and a villain. Uh, he seems to enjoy uh, the, that kind of persona, you know? Um, and arrogance, the, you know, the way he speaks to people, it's like an order. It's like an order, okay? He's not a fucking army sergeant having the respect of his troops and command, okay? No, this is Harry saying, uh, I'll have uh, one million uh, for, for that. I'll sign that for that. Uh, I want one million uh, and don't ask me again for anything lower. You know, so it's, it's that kind of uh, attitude he's coming across with. What don't uh, we know uh, regarding Harry snubbing the Queen? Yeah, she's going to, uh, you know, it, it's just uh, Megan's going to get the blame. Megan will get the blame again, OK? Uh, she's going to be called out. She's going to be called a, a gold digger. You know, Harry doing this. Well, hang on a minute. It's not just her. It's him. It is him. He's got a fucking brain. I don't care how you say he's brainwashed, OK? When you go to sleep at night or you, you know, look in the, the mirror uh, on your own, you have to see yourself. You have to see yourself, OK? Uh, and also, as well, you see, uh, you often see your fuck-ups in other people, don't you? You know, I always say, you know, if you don't like somebody, uh, just just watch out because there'll be things there that are in yourself that you don't like, you know? Uh, and it is, it's quite, quite correct, actually. Anyway, but, you know, I don't like Harry, and that's not because I like him at all. Uh... No, I can't say I've ever done any, you know, honest to God, uh, uh, no, I ain't done any of the stuff that he's, he's done uh, to, to other people. I did a lot of stuff to myself, but I never did much to, you know, in the way of harm uh, to anybody. So I think Megan's going to get uh, their blame. Uh, Megan's going on about, uh, you know, I'm getting gold digger, I'm getting, you know, uh, kind of... Maybe using Megan as an excuse. It's not going to go down well. It is not going to go down well at all, okay? Um, if they don't do something. But then they didn't do it on the memorial, did they? And I wonder if he's making the Queen his enemy, okay? Uh, that, you know, we've already said he's got no, says no purpose. I don't know who it was or where it came from, but there was a whisper uh, a while back uh, saying that, you know, uh, Harry would release uh, the book after the Queen's death. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Implying something. Implying. Okay, implying. Oh, this is disgusting, isn't it? This is dreadful, honest to God. What's his, uh, Harry's intended uh, actions then, you know? What's his, in what's his intention towards the Queen? What is, uh, you know, his intended action uh, towards the Queen uh, by snubbing her? How does he want her to feel? It's all negative. It's all negative. He's not going to do anything. You're not even going to get an actual uh, thing uh, uh, for the Queen. Uh, you, you're not going to get anything, OK? Absolutely uh, not. I think as well, though, you know, uh, this, he wants this to be negative, you know, in the story. So rather than it be a fucking birthday, uh, it becomes Harry hasn't sent uh, the Queen uh, a, a birthday wish, OK? Oh, this ain't God, is it? Uh, this ain't God. I've never ever known anything like it. Have not.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know whether I need to ask this. Did you see me spit then? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, right, okay. So, uh, pu public opinion on Harry uh, and uh, it, the Queen's birthday. So I'm getting movement here, okay, so uh, I'm getting like a, a, a good turn, uh, something, a good turn out maybe. Well, I've got three different clocks, I've got three different clocks, okay. Oh, I know why, does it start from Australia maybe, you know, uh, on the Queen's birthday, uh, and it goes like that because I'm getting, goes like clockwork, okay. Goes like clock, uh, clockwork. So they, you know, we're gonna be happy uh, for our queen. Okay, you've got the wheel of fortune there, right there, and I kind of feeling like the time is right. The time is right. So for some reason, uh, you know, against all the odds, uh, the public will approve. Okay, the the public will approve. I feel like it finally something's going their way. Something's going their uh, way. What will be uh, the outcome for Harry, please, snubbing the Queen's birthday? Oh, he's going to get attacked on land. Uh, you know, there's trouble everywhere. Trouble everywhere. But, oh, everybody's getting the... Sensing, sense drawing swords, standing upright, you know, uh, showing who's who. So, probably uh, Piers Morgan there. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Yeah, oh, and then dragging things up about uh, Prince Philip's uh, memorial as well. So, you know, comparing one snub uh, to another. People aren't happy at all. People are not happy at all. And Harry uh, should be ashamed of himself. Uh, and it looks like, you know, he will have to f suffer and face the shame and humiliation of his actions, okay? Because it's just fucking spiteful. Absolutely. Just spiteful. Absolutely. Oh, I've just seen it there. It's like, can you see him at the back there? No? Fucking Harry sticking the knife in. I think, uh, you know what, uh, as well, I'm getting Piers Morgan there uh, and I feel like Angela Levin. Oh, I love that woman. I love that woman. She's so sweet, isn't she? Uh, but, you know, yeah, I kind of feel like that. So uh, this is going to cause uh, ructions. Doesn't go bad, uh, well, for Harry. You just see him as uh, spiteful, you know. It's just fucking rude, isn't it? It's all the little things that matter, okay? But all these things, you know, it's like Harry and Meghan are on self-destruct still, you know. Well, they are, aren't they? You know, it's as if they do everything uh, to not be uh, part of the royal family anymore. And I know we say they're ex-royals and that, but they've still got them fucking titles, haven't they? So, you know, um, but yeah, I just wonder. They're pushing and pushing and pushing and... Uh, so, you know, this kind of worries me. The Queen's not going to give in. She's very astute. She's very clever. Okay, the reason we are Queen uh, and gone unblemished for fucking uh, 70 days, never mind 70 bloody years, okay, is because she thinks different and she's capable. She's more intelligent than some of us uh, and she's got wisdom, okay. Uh, and I know, I know, we have as well, but she's got it all. She's got it all, okay, so, and I think she knows exactly uh, where these two uh, reprobates was wanting to go. Uh, let's face it, <laughs> let's face it, she's not going to take them off her. If Megan wants to go into uh, politics, and you know, she might have to get rid of her, her name. I know, don't jump on me, because it's the same height, but you know this, uh, you know, you know what she's like. Uh, she'll change everything, won't she? Uh, and she would try and hang on uh, to that uh, thingy. If you, if she was drowning in the sea, and you gave her a fucking lifeboat or a title, 
I tell you now, she'd go for their title. <laughs> oh, I think that was a swear word. So, anyway, guys, it has been amazing, uh, and thank you for all your support. Uh, and it's been so glad uh, for you to see me. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't, I don't know how I sound. <laughs> anyway, at least you can picture uh, me always uh, laughing. Okay, guys. Okay. Right, I'll be back soon. Bye now. Bye bye.